Hello everyone, this is Scorpion from How To Do, and today you guys will be learning how to make cutscenes in Unity using a really cool asset. So, in order to download that, you have to just go ahead, click the link in the description box below, and download this. And when you do that, you have to import this. All right, it's called Pegasus, and when you import it, you will find this kind of a folder over here. So, when you do that, uh, you have when you have to make the cutscenes, you have to just go ahead, go to your hierarchy, and right click. Pegasus and add Pegasus manager you will see these this option when you import this uh, asset all right so add Pegasus manager and what this will do is uh, this will uh, you know contain on the information on how your camera will move and fly through and all that stuff uh, by default it will set the main camera over here but if uh, there is any issue you can go ahead and drag and drop the main camera over here and we will re add uh, leave the rest of the options um, unchanged all right for now so uh, it says welcome to Pegasus to utilize fly through in editing and editing control now to so that both scenes and camera are showing control plus left click add POI and uh, control plus scroll wheel to scrub through timeline so control plus left click uh, when you do that you will add a point of interest all right let's just go ahead and do that so let's just hold control and say click and there we go we can see this kind of a ball thing and when we select our Pegasus and open it we can see this POI 0 which means point of interest 0 so as you can see this is our point of interest and when we click that our main camera just goes to the position where our uh, point of interest is alright so which means our camera will uh, you know move through all of these point of interests so we can make as many point of interest we want so uh, let's just go ahead and select the Pegasus manager and click 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 and there we go we have these point of interests and by uh, when we when we uh, play the game you can see our camera moves over there uh, just from uh, one point of interest to another all right and it's really smooth but in the game view we cannot see anything why because if we select our camera and play you can see the direction of the camera is in the direction of the you know this line over here so it's not in the direction of anything it's just following the direction of the uh, point of interest and that's not what we want to do uh, we want the camera to face the direction of specific subject and in this case we have these four cars which looks something foolish but I hadn't add anything to do you know I hadn't any uh, uh, you know what a scene I didn't had any scene alright so how to uh, how to set the direction of the camera to the subject well you can do that by selecting one of the point of interest and here you can, as you can see target look at and the target is set to path which means the uh, camera direction will be in the direction of the path so and we don't want that we're gonna select the path and change the target to uh, target and here is the target alright so wherever this target will be our camera will face the direction of that and as you can see in real time it works so we're gonna set the target to the first car and in your case you can do anything you want like anything it can be your character it can be anything and we can also change the uh, position of this uh, point of interest and it will you know the direction will remain this uh, remain the same but the thing I don't like about Pegasus is that we have to select and change the direction of cha set the target in each uh, point of interest and that's not what I like to do you know it takes a lot of time and yeah but we cannot select uh, all of them and set the target but you know uh, it's okay so we're gonna go ahead and go through each of the point of interest and set the targets you want I'm gonna set uh, the cars as target and you can also change the point of interest direction so that it matches how you want it to look alright and select this one target set the target to set the target to this car move it in a little bit there we go like that and select this one and target and you can make the uh, the cutscene as 
you want like it can be anything you can see the direction it looks really cool and when we play the game you will see that it flies through like this and it looks really cool yeah each of the point of interest okay cool uh, directional light okay so now what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, as you can see if I if I play the game it will conti continue to do that forever like it will start from here and it gonna loop it's gonna loop and loop and loop for infinite time and that's not what we're gonna do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select the Pegasus manager and instead of loop we're gonna say single shot so it's just gonna come from here and go around and come back over here and that will be the end then then what we can do is uh, we can stop the fly through we can quit the application and we can play the next Pegasus and that's what we want to do so we can say next Pegasus and we don't have any Pegasus any uh, right now so we're gonna go ahead and make another one Pegasus manager and in here what we can do is we can do uh, you know the same thing but uh, in the diff different angle so the camera can f come from here to here all right the camera will start from here and it will come over here and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing target target will be these cars let's move it little up to make it little cooler select the second one target and the target will be uh, this car maybe or which car what should be the target like it's it's up to you you know let's make this target there we go alright so the camera will come from here and yeah you can do that you, you can select the Pegasus manager and hold control and then you can uh, scroll use the scroll wheel to scrub through the timeline you know it's written over here so it will look something like this alright uh, there let's just go ahead and select this one bring it little closer so baby pull me closer ah. <laughs> there we go awesome so now uh, we can select the first Pegasus and drag and drop the second second Pegasus over here alright and select the second one and say single shot slop, stop fly through so if you play now you can see BAM okay uh, what you have to do is you have to select the first Pegasus and select the first point of interest and then you have to play mm -hmm. there we go it's doing that and then the next one there we go cool and then the the Pegasus stops because I have set it to the second Pegasus single shot and then stop fly through so it will stop alright so yeah it looks cool it looks really cool and then you can make uh, on and on and on as many as you want and then you can stop it and then you know that will be your cutscenes so hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do and if you want anything more to ask me and then you can go ahead and leave the comment below uh, you know any kind of tutorial or something if I can make that and I then I surely will try to make it alright uh, yeah so if you want to support me you can also donate me some money through PayPal the link will be in the description box below and yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video till then be cool